Man, it's your boy Eric, aka Young Guy, coming to you live in the pink dungeon. Oh, oh no, nah, I ain't even gonna do it, man. We get it to your real raw rugged, and this, I feel like this is gonna be a long one, so your boys better goddamn, goddamn get your seatbelts on for this one, man. This is that Frank Ocean Channel Orange. I'm hyped like I'm about to review Boys Don't Cry, but I haven't listened to Frank Ocean in a little minute, and I played this just for in preparation of Boys Don't Cry, and boy, I tell you, man, this shit's. Shit's classic, man. This is that classic material, man. So I ain't even gonna hold y'all up. I'm gonna get straight to it. So y'all already know this brought to you by goddamn Pizza Hut. Thank you. Man, let's get into it, man. First track, everybody know. Thinking about you, man. I've been thinking about you. Oh, nah, nah, nah. I've been thinking about you. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Man, it's that shit. Now do you not think so far ahead? Cause I've been thinking about forever. And when he said the ooh, <laughs> that nigga that when he hit the show and he said ooh, that nigga would get it right there. That nigga hit, nigga hit one of these on him when he said that, man. Hey, this is a beautiful track right here. Now, let me, before I even get to the album, I was a huge Frank Ocean fan before he drops uh, Channel Orange. So I was coming up, he said he was gay or whatnot. I'm like, okay, I don't care, that's cool. But then I thought about it, I'm like, wait, this nigga R&B singer. He finna be talking about getting lusty with niggas. Like, I can't go out in public and be like, I saw it, it, it. <laughs> I can't sing it. So I'm like, oh, this is gonna be, I'm like, I'm like I don't, I really hope it's not filled with that because like, you know, <laughs> R&B singers talk about getting lusty. So I'm like, oh, this is about to be wild. But <laughs> wait till we get the forest gun, man. Wait till we get to it. So I'm listening to this, I'm like, okay, I heard this song before, classic, first time I hear it, Fertilizer, I'm like, okay, nice little interlude, Fertilizer, I'm like, okay, this is cool, and then you go to Sierra Leone, now this was my favorite song for a good, I don't know, five months, man, it's all I was singing, man, we spending too much time alone, what do you say, uh, spending too much time alone, ooh, hey, and what do you say, horses gallop to her throne, ooh, he said we just ran out of Trojans, Horses just gallop to her throne. Now, all throughout this album, I'm going to mention songwriting is key, guys. Songwriting is so key, man. Like, niggas like Playboy Cardi and Rich the Kid, they're not going to be legends. If you want to be a legend in the music industry, songwriting is key. You better goddamn do the Drake and goddamn high nigga to goddamn write for you. Because, boy, I'm telling you, if you want to be a legend, songwriting is key, man. I ran out of Trojans. That was a bar. That's a bar. I ran out of Trojans so the horses gallop to her throne. What? Man, that was crazy. Now nah, we're, nah, we're, we're behaving like teenagers. Sierra Leone. Man, this is crazy. Then he do that. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Now she got my good. Dun -dun -dun. Man, that's just crazy. Then he going in the beat switch up. He going to like another register. It's crazy. Uh, woo, uh. And my daughter's reaching for the nipple because it's time for her to eat. Come on, man. I put her in the cradle because it's time to go to sleep. Oh, uh, man. I just fucking love this song. And man, songwriting is key. We're going to keep getting into it, though. Sweet life, man. Bars on here, man. The best song was it the single, but you wasn't either. Come on. Hey, she wouldn't even sing herself, man. Living in Ladera High, the Black Beverly Hills. Woo! Man, he, then he start cranking it up at the end, man. The, 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 and I be like, ow! And that nigga got them getting his prints on. Boy, that nigga got them getting his James Brown on, man. This is man's world. That nigga was getting on, man. He said, uh, my TV ain't HD, that's too real, boy. That's a, that's a fact, man. Hey, a little stuff, 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 a little too real, man. You know what I'm saying, man? I don't want to see Pam Oliver Lace front in HD. It's a little too real for me. You know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> if anybody watch football, you get that reference. Uh, then you have the Not This Money interlude. But then we go into Super Rich Kids, uh, featuring Early Man, a.k.a. Earl Sweatshirt. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you guys know this, but Earl Sweatshirt recorded this while he was sick. Just a little tidbit, you probably know, you know what I'm saying? Nigga feeling like goddamn at Daily Rap Facts around here. Uh, what he said, um, then he had the good time sample going throughout this, the, uh, uh, what, what'd he say, um, too many, uh, and, no, too many balls of that green, no lucky charms, hey, maze ain't around, no. This is a crazy song right here, then you got Earl come in and snap, and I don't know if y'all realize it, but throughout the whole song, he got a good time sample going throughout. He make it real prominent when he pause, and, uh, JJ say, I ain't no money! 
Hey, that was hard right there. So uh, this is a beautiful song. Then he go, then he start going to that different register that he always do. I'm searching for a real love. Like he likes to, I see he likes to like find new registers and facettos to go through, which is really cool to me because he just doesn't stay in one tone. Really crazy. Then we go to Pilot Jones, man. Man, what man is this beat, man? I had a Pilot Jones. Hey, hey, this is what you know about that. She took me high. Oh, did she now? Hey, then she took me home. Polly Jones, Polly Jones. Ooh, man, this is that, this is that, this is that funk, right? That's that funk, man. And the deep high. Ooh, what? Nice shit, that man. Then he, uh, the uh, man. I, I don't, bro, this shit is beautiful. The way he writes his melodies and it's just crazy, man. But let's get into. <laughs> Man, you gotta have a beautiful voice to sing crack rock. This nigga goddamn made a crackhead song lovely. This nigga made a song about a goddamn crackhead and made this shit goddamn lovely, man. This is beautiful right here, man. What do you say? Uh, hidden stones and abandoned homes. This, hey, man, little baby just taking hits around the world in abandoned uh, houses. Hey, AKA, she got them in Detroit, just in every house. Cause you know they don't really have no real house in Detroit. It's just all abandoned. She got them just smoking houses. Man, she is, she is wild, man. He made it lovely too, man. But Pyramids, 12 out of 10. The next song, 12 out of 10 songwriting. Man, songwriting is key, man. Major key. Ain't, ain't that what, ain't that what DJ Khaled say, man? Major key, man. Prehistory to modern times. He starts off with a prehistoric song. Like the whole, do, 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 do. There's a thief out on the loose. Hey, what do he say? Send the cheetahs. On the loose, cause he thinks somebody has kidnapped his queen Cleopatra. So he's like sending the cheetahs out. There's a thief out. We gotta get this young man. So he's searching. Can he first he gives you a background over the queen of Africa? What is I'm a jewel? Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? So he's talking about he's the queen of Africa, giving all the details or whatever. Hey, okay, hey, shout out to the gods of Egypt movie, man. Hey, everybody that was a royalty in that movie got them, got them the color my, uh, got, got them color my tissue. Man. <laughs> hey, when nobody got them Egypt the queen and they were got them, got them name was Tom. Man. <laughs> got them, I ain't never heard of King, uh, got them Bob. You know what I'm saying, man? Everybody was, uh, everybody was got them Negro skin. I don't know what the gods of Egypt was on, but it's a beautiful song right here, man. He's talking, I just heard a beat, that was weird. It's like a bomb in my house, that kind of scared me. Anyway, uh, nah, he's talking about it, but then he finds it with Samson. If anybody's familiar with the Bible, Samson's the guy with long hair. I remember in pre-K, my, uh, one of my teachers told me, don't ever cut your hair because it's going to make you strong. And then when you cut your hair, you're going to become weak. It happened to Samson. And I always just stick with me. That was a cool little thing she told me. But anyway, uh, he's saying he caught her with Samson or whatnot. And now he just upset. Like, you could hear it in his voice. Like, like, his voice was like, let's find her. Like, yeah, I'm hyped for her. But then at the end of the song, he got way more, like, sad. He was like, ooh. Because he was like, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah. But then, like, uh, it kind of got, like, it kind of just got very disdained and like dose, like I mean low. It was like, uh, uh. and then he switched the verse, switched the bars up. He said, um, what he said, uh, send the cheetahs to the tomb. He basically like sent them back to the tomb. And then he said, uh, what he said, uh, yeah, the queen has met her doom. He about to kill the bitch, not seeing the cheat on him. So it's just a beautiful song, man. And then the way the songwriting is key. He takes the pyramid scheme and, and and do a whole nother scheme with it, man. He so mother effing me with it. He took that pyramid scheme and did a whole nother scheme with it, man. And then he started talking about working at the pyramids, which out in uh, Las Vegas, you know, they got the little pyramids. And he talking about hoes be prostituting. So now she went from royalty to prostitute. So I got I low key kind of be a double entendre trying to say black people were kings and queens. And now nah, black people out there prostituting on the pyramids. I don't know. Hey, you tell me, man. You can say that how you want to. But that's crazy, man. Uh, this was just a freaking crazy song, man. That nigga said, uh, I like the way she say my name like I'm that nigga and I'm still unemployed. What? Man, nigga don't got, got you know, one dollar to his name and she make you feel like that nigga, man. She working at the pyramids tonight. Yeah, man. Hey, shout out to Wayne, man. He was one of the first rappers to really go in detail about prostitute. What he say? And I would love you if you was a prostitute. Ooh, what y'all know about that, man? That's that classic Wayne. Uh, but a great track, man. One of my favorites. I used to listen to this for every day for like eight months straight, man. Every morning, I swear I never missed a day. I swear, I promise. I ain't hey, beside a thugger. Uh, chapter number ten, lost. Um, lost in this world, man. Uh, since she lost, lost in the heat of it all. Man, crazy song. I like it a lot. 
Uh, and Lost, I really used to like that song. I think it has a video to it too. Shout out to Lost, I really did like that song. Then you got White, then you got John Mayer on the uh, on the guitar. You know, John Mayer doing the John Mayer things. He's turning up. Then what we got, Monks. Um, hey man, wave him high, girl. To the sky, hey man, this is that. This is a hard song right here, man. I, I forgot this song was even on the album when I played. I'm like, damn, I used to like this song too, man. Just so much, it's so beautiful, man. Just everything about this song, just so beautiful. It's a one. It's, it's it's just the way I can't even. I'm getting lost for words, man. Y'all know only do that when I'm really really passionate about the album, man. It's, it just gets me choked up for words, man. It's so good. Then we got Bad Religion. I like what I like, but you mean no worry. And it fit brings me some money. It's a bad religion. Ooh, man, crazy song right here, man. He's basically saying that I think he's talking about a relationship. Basically, saying, this relationship make me do all this stuff right here. It ain't a relationship for me, man. I don't really like this relationship right here. Using religion as a metaphor for a relationship. Songwriting is key, guys. Crazy song. And then we go to... And then we go to uh, Pink Matter. I forgot this is on here too. I used to love this song. Freaking Andre 3000. What is wrong with you, sir? You're a wild boy. Why haven't you dropped the album? Why? We're gonna get in the uh, we're gonna get in Frank part first, man. Uh, that that whole love. Uh, that nigga say what? Cause he's talking about like Pink Matter, like vagina. But then he's saying, what if the aliens are watching for the pur from the purple matter? And my jingle, ooh, 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 dim the lights and. Fall into the do, do, do. My God, she's giving me pleasure. <laughs> pleasure. But I think he started tearing down the house when he did that. That pleasure over matter. And then, and then, uh, Andre come in. Why, Andre? Why don't we have a solo album from you? This songwriting is key in his verse, man. God, man. The whole, well, 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 frankly, when I ocean so motherfucking deep, come on, Frank Ocean, frankly, ocean, that's a bar. Well, frankly, when I ocean so motherfucking good, it make you walk the motherfucking wood, it make you walk the motherfucking plate, it make you rock the motherfucking brain with a, with a, what do you say, with a, with a, with no mask and a dusty revolver, man, why, why, man, drop the album, man, I was, that's different, man, that's different right there, man, Pink Matter, the, I, that's probably one of my favorite ones on the whole album when he does that. My God, like that, that whole like uh, the part right there, the, the last time when he does the Majin Boo, ooh, 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 nice and man, he was man, man. That's all I gotta say is man. Forrest Gump, the actually that the song where he talk about the dude. So I was seeing all over social media when I first listened to this is a song. Like, okay, let's see if I get into. Man, a nigga what got them my lips and my fingertips and my lips and they burn from the fingertips. Boop, boop, boop. Man, you run my mind, boy, man. It was one of my favorite songs in the album. I was scared, man. Nigga, I could have had a whole Forrest Gump album and I could have rolled out with it, man. Forrest Gump. I mean, Frank Ocean, excuse me, man. This is all hell, Frank Ocean. I knew it was going to be a long review. I'm sorry, but I really do, really do love Frank Ocean, man. I'm getting choked up again. But let's, let's, that's really a whole Boys Don't Cry come out tomorrow. I'm going to definitely review that, of course. I'm going to get up. I'm gonna get on the ball with that. But uh, until then, y'all already know I say what I mean. And I mean what I say. Hey, what's going on, Hayden? Please don't play high that to bar, man.